New at 11 tonight, people mired in mail problems for months may be one step closer to a solution tonight. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. From mail theft to lack of delivery, residents detailed their dilemma to state and local leaders at a postal town hall tonight. Those leaders responding with what they plan to do going forward. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan was at tonight's meeting and joins us live in Richmond now with what she learned. Cheyenne, good evening. Eridana, the town hall wrapped up here on VCU's campus a few hours ago. Many residents came here tonight looking for answers about where their mail is. I've gone three to four weeks without receiving any mail at all. A packed room full of concerned community members. We've had um, two checks that were forged, uh, both of which were over $4,000 speaking out about the ongoing mail problems they've had. That includes Henrico resident Melissa Early, who says her mail was stolen and believes it led to negative impacts on her health. I didn't get that letter. <laughs> and um, fast forward to now, on December 21st, I had a double inspected because I have cancer. That's because part of the mail that was taken was a letter urging her to get her well tested for PFAS, which are forever chemicals that are known to cause cancer. It wasn't until some time later that she learned in a community meeting that her well was in a high risk area and she should get it tested, which she says she did and it came back positive. I feel like my my chances of survival are less because somebody thought it was OK to steal my mail. Her story, one of many, echoed at Wednesday's town hall hosted by Richmond's Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. The office had planned one for January, but USPS officials declined to attend and it was canceled. But this time is different. Even if the United States Post Office is not going to provide a forum and, 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 and explain what happens uh, with the mail, we're going to set up something so that people can see that they are not alone. Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan addressed the crowd, saying that an audit of the postal facility in Sandston will be coming out soon and will help lawmakers shine a light on what's leading to issues in central Virginia. McClellan says she and other lawmakers will also be touring this facility in mid-March to see it firsthand, hoping to get answers. Once we get that report that will spell out exactly what's going on with the Sandston facility, and, and if it is a workforce issue, that tells us we need to do something about funding for more workers. If it's a process issue, that tells us we need to put legislation in place. I think I. If you're experiencing mail issues, leaders tonight encourage you to contact your state representative and file a case. We'll have more information on how to do this on our website at WRIC.com. Live in Richmond, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.